What's up, everybody? We're back. We're on version 2024.20.15. This is 12.5.1 supervised full self driving. And I think a new update is going out. I was just checking on X. Let me go ahead and pull up Teslify. Now we're cruising through uh, Summerlin here. Got a short drive. I'm probably add another route once we get to downtown Summerlin here. Let's see. So currently 67 on Wi-Fi for this version 20.15, which is 12.5.1. But I think they're releasing a 12.5.1.1 going out anytime. I also saw on Chuck on X that they're testing the Cybertruck on the left turn. That's fantastic. Can you imagine the Cybertruck driving itself? I sure can. Now this 12.5.1 has been performing very well, very assertive, very confident. Still a few errors here and there. No more lane hesitation errors, so that was a big one. So what do we got close by? We got Cottonwood Canyon. We got Village Green Park. All very close. I kind of like the Village Green Park. Let's see how it goes. And how has your day been going? Hopefully they release 12.5.1 to the Hardware 3 cars any day. I know they're testing a lot of the Legacy cars, the Hardware 3 on Chuck's turn as well. So maybe we get an update this weekend. A little bit of hesitation trying to merge to the left lane. It still does that, but it, I find out that it's been correcting itself on this dot one, but it tries to get into the middle non-turning lane. We, have, do, we do have an unprotected left arrow here see how FSD does. Got one car turning and we are clear. I love the assertiveness of 12.5.1. It really is fantastic. Got our first roundabout. Little hesitation. I feel like they dialed up the assertiveness, so now it does run into a little bit more hesitation moments. It's a lot less cautious. So it looks like we have our park here. Once we get to the park, I do want to test out another auto park if we have parking available, and then we'll reroute. I'm also wearing the sunglasses so we're not on the driver monitor attention but let me go ahead and test that out let me go ahead and put on my regular glasses it is cloudy enough of a day check out that gtr i heard those things are so firm too too firm on the road like your whole body will shake all right it says apply slight turning force to the wheel i'm going to go ahead and look straight i'm not sure if the attention monitoring is on yet i'm going to go ahead and give it some torque on the wheel and we'll see when the light comes up. It should say attention monitoring available. So there it is, attention monitoring active, perfect. So from now on, from this video, I'm gonna try not to touch the steering wheel at all. And let's see, well, mine is doing auto park here. Or let's see if it auto parks itself, I doubt it. It definitely didn't auto park in my garage. It did pull up to the side of my house and it did navigate through my community, so. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the brakes there. We're gonna try to auto park in here. So I still haven't touched the steering wheel and start. Let's see if we can get in there in one shot. It definitely, the assertiveness is, is faster. And what's interesting is the lane we're in is actually a, a wrong lane. 
so you shouldn't park here. I guess we're going to try that anyway. You can almost see the lines here. I mean, you can see the lines there over the parking spot. Pretty interesting. Very good. I like it. still a lot faster than it used to be on 12.3.6, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and put on the brake and trip. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull up Lucky, see what's around. So we are at the park. What is this? Q, Red Rock Canyon Marker. Let's try it. Go ahead and put it in drive, activate FSD, and here we go. All right, we're clear to the left. We have a pedestrian to the right, but they're far enough away. Nice and assertive, like it. So 3.5 miles, seven minutes on route to the Red Rock Canyon marker. Been performing amazing doing the lane change. yellow light and we stopped on that one let's check traffic on the left we are being assertive we beat the traffic very good got to merge over two lanes here or three lanes one two and three perfect yeah this 12.5 that one is performing flawlessly so good you can really feel the improvement even over 12.5 and 12.5 over 12.3.6 was impressive and we got the green arrow. Going wide. That was one of the new Mustang dark horses, by the way. I just kind of, it, it just popped into my mind. It sounds great though. I almost wanted to get one of those dark horses. The thing is, I don't like filling up any type of gas anymore, especially when you're getting probably eight miles per gallon on that car. I'd rather just have a GT500 and let it sit in the garage. But, those Mustangs are fun though. My favorite Mustangs are the 90, 90s models, the Fox bodies. We got the green light. To the right, we have the Summerlin Center where the Costco's at. To the left, we got the Red Rock Casino. And this is definitely a hot spot in town. The Red Rock is part of the station's casinos. It is, it is a great casino. Looks like we're merging over to the faster lane here. Or actually, we're merging over to go straight. So that was great. Check our settings. We've got an assertive, or I think it might have been an average, but it's an assertive now. Minimal lane changes off for this drive. What we'll do is when we get to the Red Rock sign, we'll go ahead and beeline back to downtown Summerlin. One thing cool is all along this, the freeway here, you have these bike roads, these bike uh, trails that, are, that run parallel to the freeway. Pretty sweet. I'm hoping to get my cyber truck and really get on those. been seeing a lot of uh, reservations go out for the Cybertruck for the Foundation Series today. And the thing is, is that why would you get a Foundation Series now? You got to wait for the price to go down. They should just really end the Foundation Series. That's what I think. I feel like about now they're just milking every 20000 they can. I can only imagine if you bought a Foundation and they come out with the regular one. Oh my. One thing about having this, one thing to say about waiting is the Tesla really reiterate, reiterates their car so quick. They're always making changes to it that by the time you get it, it's going to be even better. So the weight is definitely not the worst thing. 1.6 miles and two minutes will be there. You can see the Red Rock Mountains straight ahead. It's so beautiful. The mountains are absolutely stunning out here the valley of Las Vegas surrounded by mountains. I 
I never thought I would love Las Vegas as much as I do. It is truly a beautiful desert city. Yeah, and the only thought for the day I can think of today is don't attach yourself to the outcome. You know, wherever you go, live in the moment. Be your authentic self. Don't ever put pressure on people. Don't try to, don't want so much. Just let go. Put in the action and let the output find its own way. That's my thought for the day. So we're getting close. This is the road heading to Red Rock. Looks like we are at the 45 miles an hour. We do have a 50 mile an hour sign here. Some beautiful houses right on the edge there. You got protected land back here. What a spot. What a view. All right, we're doing 50 and a 50. 0.7 of a mile till we get to the Red Rock Canyon marker. So this kind of runs all the way around through the canyon. Very peaceful out here. And I was just thinking, I have my, not my sunglasses on, and I don't think I've seen one nag. <laughs> I haven't touched the wheel. It's really, the, the attention driver monitoring is really a phenomenon. And I can see the Red Rock Canyon sign now. So we'll go ahead and see if it pulls us in here and how that works. Got a couple cars parked so far, no parking spots. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and disengage. We're coming in a little hot, but you can see it right ahead, the Red Rock National Conservation Area. A little bumpy here, and welcome. I wish I could take you to the top. All right, no traffic to the left, no traffic to the right. Let's flip a U-turn. Navigate to downtown Summerlin. Engage FSD. Navigate to downtown Summerlin. All right, we got downtown Summerlin en route. Looks like 2.8 miles, six minutes. FSD 12.5.1, they're releasing point releases quickly. pay attention to the road. I was kind of looking at my phone and looking at the screen. Now the question I have is, and someone let me know in the comments, I mean I could research this right, but how do you know if someone's watching your location? This is for the driver monitoring little green dot. Wasn't there supposed to be like a dot when when someone's watching your location? Let's see navigation and there was also a a toggle at one point where you can turn off all type of, so allow mobile access is on currently. All right, speed limit just changed to 35 there. Still showing 45. So I think we did miss that. Okay, now we now have another 45, so it went from 35 to 45 real quick. So confident. I'm loving this build. I can't wait for the sunglasses update because wearing my regular glasses is not very fun i just don't like the light next turn in 0.5 of a mile 0.4 of a mile now All right, this car's getting a little antsy trying to do his u-turn get prepared and there he goes I'm thinking about getting some big planter boxes and doing some planting in the backyard. Something about being able to grow something and nurture it. Now right, we got our right turn. 
great distance away from the curb. A little bit cautious, pulling in there a little bit slow. It says pay attention to the road. I was kind of looking at the screen. All right, we have our first roundabout. Good slowdown. little hesitant there. It's got the right blinker. That looks like we have another roundabout, 0.2 mile. attention to the road it says I was looking over at the condos to the left all right now we have the Red Rock Casino over here kind of in this area and it looks like we're gonna be taking in the back way to go into down or maybe maybe not the back way third roundabout got the right blinker I like how it turns on the blinker to show intention Not sure why we're airing over. So we do kind of have a right turn up ahead. <clears throat> very slow, <clears throat> very cautious through here. Very interesting behavior how it's just creeping up nice and slow so it doesn't even have to stop. What a human behavior that is. That's something I would do. Just like kind of creep from a distance and then waiting, no stopping. That was perfect. So when it does behaviors like that, it really stuns you. All right, got the four-way stop. Full stop. Changing lanes. This car is slowing down. All right, not too bad. We had to get on the brake a little bit there, but then you have the ballpark, the uh, Las Vegas ballpark, straight ahead. All right, let's go. And that's gonna wrap it up, everybody. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe. Definitely leave me your feedback.